Hey guys, today's video is about an excellent AI box, the Herillary C7, which uses a Snapdragon 665 processor and four gigabytes of RAM. Let me show you. Now, before I get into the Herillary C7, let me just give you an overview of what an AI box actually is. If you have a car with a factory Apple CarPlay system in it, or if you have an aftermarket system that has Apple CarPlay, then this is going to be the ultimate upgrade for you. So what this is gonna be able to do is give you a totally new interface in your car, and also give you the ability to run whatever you want on the screen of your car as well. I'm talking about the likes of Netflix, YouTube, anything. Anything you wanna run in your car, you can do with one of these. There's one other significant benefit of one of these, and that is if your car is only wired CarPlay, uh, then it's gonna give you wireless CarPlay. And the other thing is, if you don't have Android Auto, but you do have Apple CarPlay, and you want to have Android Auto, this will also give you Android Auto on your Apple CarPlay car as well. Anyway, this particular one here has an octa-core Snapdragon 665 processor and four gigs of RAM. Now they are pretty decent specifications when it comes to an Android system. So this should be pretty nippy. And one of the main benefits, of course, is that you just plug it in to the USB port and that's it. And you don't have to do anything else. It literally just works as soon as you plug it in. Right, let's get this one out of the box and have a look and see what it looks like. We And here it is, and it looks really very pretty. Now, if you have a look at the screen, this is exactly what you're going to see on any factory head unit, which is CarPlay compatible. So you've got a Mercedes or an Audi or a BMW or any car, which actually has CarPlay from factory. When you plug this device in, this is what you're gonna see on the screen. It's gonna really, really open up the functionality of your in-car infotainment. And then again, if you have a non-Android aftermarket head unit like the one I have here, which is CarPlay compatible, the same thing. It will really revolutionize the way that you use it. So, if we have a look at the dashboard here, you can see it's split into sections. So on the top left here, you have an audio widget. Now the C7 does actually have a micro SD card entry point and you can pop a load of MP3s onto that memory card, put it into the C7, and then you can play back your MP3s using this little widget here. Now this actually does also control music from the likes of Spotify and other things as well. So it is a good little gadget. Below this music widget, you have four applications, and these are totally changeable. You can have whatever you want there, which is awesome. You just press and hold it, you can delete them, and you can add something else there if you'd rather have something else there. On the right-hand side here, you have this bar, and this represents any applications that you have very recently used. So they constantly change based on the applications that you use. Which brings me to this widget here. Now, at first glance, you might think, well, that's another music app. Why have you got two music apps on the same screen? But it actually isn't. Uh, this thing here isn't actually a widget version of Spotify. It is actually Spotify, the full application. Like, if I go down here, you'll be able to see I can access everything. I can access all my playlists. It is literally the full Spotify app. And that makes the launcher on the C7 an absolutely amazing device because this little window here, you can actually choose which application you wanna have. So for example, if I go into the settings here and I go into uh, navigation setup and then launch a navigation widget settings, I actually get to choose what I want in there. And if you can see, there's no restriction. It literally has everything that's installed in here. So if I wanna have Waze, if I wanna have Chrome or YouTube, Netflix, everything, everything is here. So you can literally choose anything that you wanna have in that little window. So let's throw Waze. And there you go. So you can actually navigate from the actual launcher software. Of course, you can have it full screen if you wanna have it full screen like uh, every Android unit. But the fact of the matter is, they actually let you have it in that little widget as well. And I absolutely love that because it means that you can have your little widget there, you can control your music and you still have all of the access to everything else on the head unit should you require it. So 
uh, amazing, amazing job with this launcher software. It makes it amazing and it, it really is going to look great in any car that you put in. As you can see, it looks a little bit like Apple CarPlay and just like Apple CarPlay down here, if we press this button, you can see that it gives you access to all of the other apps. Now, interestingly, I have not installed anything on this apart from Geekbench 5. And if you have a look, you'll find you have YouTube Music, you have Spotify, Hulu, Netflix, Prime Video, Waze, all of these really great apps were already preloaded onto this thing. So it's really plug and play and ready to go and it's absolutely awesome. And of course that's one of the main things that you want from one of these head units. You're not gonna get these apps on any factory head unit unless you own a Tesla. So look, I can go into Netflix and I can watch Netflix on a factory head unit and this is what makes it absolutely fantastic. You can install whatever app you want on your car and you can utilize it however you want. Some of the other interesting apps is U-Center here. U-Center shows you how accurate the GPS signal of the C7 is. As you can see, it can see many, many, many satellites, and that means it's gonna be able to triangulate your position very accurately. So being Android, it does need some navigation tools like home buttons and back buttons and such, and as you can see, there's nothing on the screen right now but you've probably seen me use it already. If we just tap the screen anywhere, this little blob comes up and you touch that and it gives you a bunch of different controls. So you've got your home button, back button, and then one of the really, really awesome functions of this is say you uh, wanna run two apps at the same time and have them both on the screen, you can totally do that. So uh, start with one app here, press this button here, which allows you to have two apps. You can see that it's just disappeared over here and say I wanna navigate as well. So now, I have both Waze running on the screen and also I have the full version of Spotify on this side of the screen as well. You can assign any application to any window at any time and uh, this functionality just makes this such a, a, such a good device. Right, let's talk about speed. The CPU that is actually running is the Snapdragon 665, uh, which is an awesome Qualcomm CPU and it has four gigabytes of memory. So it is actually going to be quite a fast unit with those specifications, and we've already seen that it is pretty damn fast. But as usual, we're gonna run our usual speed test, which is everyday apps. I'm gonna use Spotify and Waze, and we're simply gonna see how long it takes for those applications to boot up on this unit. So we will start with Spotify. So let's open it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's practically an instant boot. The, the speed of that is just excellent. But uh, let's try Waze now. Yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Very, very, very fast. It's, it's it, as fast as some of the fastest head units that I've ever tested. So yeah, absolute real high points with this. It, it is absolutely great. And I do love this bar on the side because I obviously have opened uh, Spotify and Waze here and I can just flick between the two of them, both open, and I can utilize both apps instantaneously using that, uh, that switch bar as well. So from a speed perspective, absolutely brilliant. I just wanna show you its very basic feature and that is that it makes a wired CarPlay car wireless and it also adds Android Auto to a, a car which doesn't have Android Auto. So what we do is we go into the Speed Play app here it wirelessly connects to the phone. Here's my phone, completely wireless. All I needed to do was connect it via Bluetooth. And as you can see, I have full access to all the apps. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty nippy as well, pretty fast. And I have access to everything uh, wirelessly from my phone. If you're interested in Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and this is Apple CarPlay here. So again, completely wireless. Um, I have access to all of my apps. Everything is working exactly as it is meant to. So in conclusion, I really can't stress how amazing this device is. The C7 is such a powerful Android device giving you tons and tons of features and it 
has an amazing launcher software. It really is the best upgrade that you can give a car which has CarPlay from factory or on an aftermarket head unit because it's gonna give you every possible feature that you want. So I hope this review is helpful and uh, if I missed anything, please do ask in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do. If there's any devices or head units that you'd like me to review, uh, just give me a shout and I'll, I'll see what I can do. And if you like this kind of content, I would be eternally grateful if you would subscribe to my channel because there will be more.